So I was, I was really confident in myself when, when I became Ryder Cup captain, despite all the pressure and expectation, and you know, there was a lot of quiet criticism about you know, me not being a captain against the, you know, Tom Watson, who had achieved and a real superstar of the game, and, and me with my relatively small CV, golfing CV against his. And I wanted to scream at the time, show me the correlation between the better the player, the better the captain. There is none. You know, you look back through all the great leaders in sport, um, very few of them, if any, have been real superstars of the game. Um, you know, I'm talking, you know, Alex Ferguson, you know, um, Jim, Jim, Jim and Stuart who, who, who we're doing this with. Um, or wherever you want to go, um, all black, um, all black uh, uh, coaches, you know, yes, by all means they've played for the All Blacks, but you know, where are they the superstars on that team? And then elevated into be the superstar coach. And, and I have a theory on that, and my theory is that, you know, it's a very, very different style of personality needed to be a coach than the personality needed to be a superstar.